Hi, my name is Steve and let's talk business. So today I just want to share the story of my business. How I went from zero to $180,000 in gross revenue in three years. So I started my business when I was a stay-at-home dad. I had a little bit of extra time on my hands periodically and I wanted to do something to bring in a little bit extra money for the family. My wife worked full-time and so I was staying home with my son and just decided I wanted to start bringing in some income. So what I did first is I started just selling things out of my garage to get some money built up because one thing that my wife and I had agreed on was that I was not going to spend any money to start this business. I wasn't going to borrow money, nothing. So I started going through the garage and finding things that we didn't need Need anymore and selling it on eBay. That's how I started to build up just a little bit of cash. Now at that same time, I had a jogging stroller and would take my son all throughout our small town of about 14,000 people. One of the stores we visited was a liquidation store and I talked to the owner of the store and asked him if he had anything that was not fixable or anything that was broken that he didn't want to worry about. And he said, yeah, we have some microwaves in the back. If you wanted to just take them off our hands, we'd be glad to have you take them. So I started getting broken microwaves from the store in town I would take them home to my garage and I would fix them up there and after they were fixed I'd put them on Craigslist or sometimes eBay if they were easy to ship and I started building up a little bit more cash that way now after I had a little bit more cash to play with I started buying broken electronics I would go to places like Goodwill or sometimes on eBay and places like that and I would purchase their broken electronics so I could bring them home and fix them up now as I was doing that, that brought in a little bit more cash and a little bit more cash as I went from the cheaper handheld consoles up into the home consoles that you would use with your TV. And while I was buying these broken consoles, I would also purchase other things that I could purchase and then resell on eBay for a profit. And as I kept going with that, I found that I started making more money with the consoles. And so I started focusing a little bit more on those electronics. And as I went along, I decided, hey, why don't I throw up a website and start taking people's consoles, have them mail them into me, and I'll fix them and then send them back. So I started doing that a little bit and it started working. And eventually after a few months, a business contacted me and said, I think they said they had a hundred consoles that needed fixed and wanted to know if I could do it. And so I said, sure, send them, send them in to me and I'll fix them for you and get them sent back. So that's what happened. We had these huge boxes of consoles in our garage and I would just go through them at night after my son had gone to bed or sometimes during the day while he was napping and I would go through and fix these consoles and then ship them back. Now that worked out great because I had a whole bunch of work all at once and then they would just PayPal me the money once they got the box back. Now that worked really well and I decided, hey, this whole idea of repairing things versus buying broken and reselling is making me more money. So I decided to go head on into my website and really spiff it up, make it look nice and professional. And that's what I did. And then more work started coming in that way. Before I knew it, I was running out of space in my garage. The garage was full of equipment and tables where I could stack stuff and tools. And so I decided, look, I'm making enough money. Let's move into a small space. And so a friend of mine said he knew of a place that might work and so I talked to the owner and made a deal and we moved into a small 300 square foot space paying $250 a month. Now that space was perfect at the time because it was out of the garage, I had a little more space to work and it was two rooms so I could set up the repair part of it in one and then kind of the customer service office part in another. And this worked out great for several months. I was in that space for about eight months I believe and at, towards the end of the eight months I was realizing that doing all the repairs and all the shipping and all the customer service was getting really tiring. I was putting in long hours and I needed to find someone to help me out. Luckily for me, I was talking to my mother-in-law of all people who had worked in shipping for quite a few years and I told her, hey, look, if you ever need a job, just let me know. Well, it ended up a couple months later, she told me she was looking for a job. And so I hired her to do all of my shipping and any customer service she could. And so she came in and started working for me doing all of my shipping so I could just focus on repairs. 
Now that all worked great, but then having two people in the same small office with all the repairs and all the shipping we had to do was just getting to be too much. So I started looking for a new repair facility. Luckily in the downtown of the town that I live in, there was a 1600 square foot space available for $1,295 a month. It was a huge step up from the $300 a month I was paying at the time. But looking at the type of money I was bringing in every month, I decided to step out and just do it and make it happen. So we leased this space that I'm currently in at 1,600 square foot, almost $1,300 a month, but it was huge. The new space had a place for my YouTube stuff, photography for the website, a great shipping area. We set it up so there's a small area to take breaks. And then of course, the actual work area where we do all the repairs. And that's where we are currently. We have myself doing most of the repairs. My mother-in-law does most of the shipping and a lot of the customer service and a lot of the shop cleaning and that sort of the thing. And we each have enough space to do the work we need without getting in each other's hair. And it's just uh, an enjoyable space. Now, during all of this time, I still was a stay-at-home dad, and so I had to decide, what are we gonna do for my son's schooling? So my wife and I talked and decided, hey, let's try homeschool. We decided that we'd sign him up for online homeschool, basically through the public school system. So my son comes to work with me. I have a computer set up for him. He does his homework while I'm working, and then I'm, I work right next to him so he can ask me questions if needed. So that solved that problem. And now I'm in a place where I get to work with people I trust, my mother-in-law, I get to have my son at work with me, and then I gotta do something I love, which is running a business. Now my first year in business, I grossed approximately 70,000 in gross revenue, and that was mostly working out of my garage and learning the business. In my second year, we moved out of the garage into a small workspace and then into the larger workspace. And my second year, I grew the business to approximately 120,000 in gross revenue. Now my third year, we grew the business even more up to 180,000 in gross revenue. And we did that mainly through growing the website, growing our social media presence, and basically just growing our word of mouth so more and more people found out about my business. So this is just a short overview of my business, how I grew it from zero to 180,000 in gross revenue in just a few years. So if you guys have any questions at all, I'm more than happy to answer them. Just leave them in the comment section below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you'd like to see more business videos.